the Union of Muslim Filipino Malaysia has established since 2010, which is this uh, organization under Philippine Embassy in Kuala Lumpur, and also this has been registered under under the Department of the Society of the uh, Government of Malaysia, uh, which is this is uh, a legal organizations. That means. Uh, UMFM or Union Muslim Filipino, uh, we are covered for the Filipino Muslim in Malaysia, especially students, uh, professionals, and also Muslim Filipino who are married with the locals, uh, Malaysia. Yeah. So these uh, organizations, uh, we create this organization for the to strap establish friendship in our Muslim Filipino Malaysians community in Malaysia. It's not only in Kuala Lumpur, but we have a 14 states in the uh, Malaysia's uh, country. So we have uh, Sabah, uh, Kota Kinabalu, Sarawak, and also Peninsula of Malaysia. And then uh, we, this organization also we create uh, to uh, dedicate dedicated members of various community in Malaysia. And then the the third part is Islam is our way for guidance and affiliations and to identify, review and evaluate cap capacity of the building activities proposals that can be carried out. And then uh, to create a bridge in cooperation within two countries, Malaysia and Philippines, Kuala Lumpur in Manila, and, and Manila, and change for exchanging experience and our ideology together. And the lastly is uh, to help and guide our Muslim Filipino and protecting them through the fully supported, uh, for uh, example, welfare for them. Uh, right now, uh, registered under this uh, organization, we have a 20, more than 25,000 members in Malaysia which is the, the members come from students, Filipino Muslim students, and uh, also we have a Filipino Muslim professionals, and also Filipino married Malay, uh, so they become the Muslim. So we taking care for them. Yeah. And then uh, for information, we have uh, 15, uh, what's called, 15 bureau or subcommittee under these organizations. Nowadays, we have uh, 25 committee members, national committee members. Among us is a lawyer, engineer, architect, and also government, policymaker, immigration office of Malaysia, and all that. All are blood of Filipino. Uh, they come and they join us. Because they are, like myself, we have a, I'm, I'm the blood of the mix. Uh, so, also there, they are also same like us. And also the f pure Filipinos, uh, Filipinos. Kababayan, isn't it? <laughs> and then uh, for your information also, we have a committee such as registration and membership, uh, main committee for the youth and sport, and then da'wah and educationals. Da'wah, this means the Islamic religions. Eh? And then uh, madrasa and mahat affair. Madrasa, this means the Islamic school. Uh, I think they have a lot in Mindanao. Yeah? So we bring them to come here and study here and then under taking care of our Union of Muslim Filipino in Malaysia. And also we have a committee for trade, economy and business. This is more important because they will grow and increase our uh, economy, Filipino economies, not only Muslim Filipino, but also the Filipino local, in Philippines economy. And then we have uh, international relations, and then we have uh, welfare, women and children. This is very important because this is human right, like, uh, such as we have uh, problems, or like uh, illegals, no documentation. So we're helping them to make sure they are under our protect, pro protections. Eh? And then uh, we have communication, corporate and media. This means this uh, committee will be uh, will be appear our activities in Malaysia and also in Philippines soon. And then we have a Filipino River Affair. The River Affair in Bali Islam. For Bali Islam. Sometimes Filipino is married here, they do not know how what they will do because they uh, change their religion. So we have taken care, we have give them guidance and give a school to them to learn about Islam's matter. Okay. And then uh, we have also culture and arts. 
because Malaysia and Philippines, especially in Mindanao areas in Malaysia, we have a similar culture. And also in the northern of Philippines, like uh, Ifugao, we have a similar culture in the Sabah, Sarawak, uh, like the native culture. And uh, we also have uh, legal and policy makers from the, our legal sites. That is our main uh, committee under our Union of Muslim Philippines and Malaysia. Halal is well known in Malaysia because as a Muslim country, everything must be halal. Because halal that means food. 100% uh, halal is uh, mean food. That means what food you eat must be halal. Okay, halal means is uh, if you want eat the karabau, karabau or chicken, manok, you have to slot their head, yeah, head to make sure their blood all put out. Yeah, you know, and then then Muslim can eat. Uh, this is we call halal. If we not slot the head like a what's it called like a simple, okay, we cannot eat because you know uh, based on the Al Quran said they have they have there is uh, blood inside not go through not go out. Yeah. Okay. So that mean if halal make it happen in Philippines. There will be uh, increase the Filipino or local uh, restaurants to be like a uh, famous uh, or Muslim. Or what I mean is Muslim will come that restaurant to eat. They will increase the economy for the Muslim, Filip for the not Muslim for the Filipino in Philippines. We have already planned under Bureau of the International Trade, our uh, Union of Muslim Filipino. We will uh, we, we will handle uh, processing of the organizing local company in Malaysia to hold international halal expo on the first quarter of 2016. Soon, with the coordination of the Philippine Embassy in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, through the stewardship of the His Excellencies Ambassador. Eduardo Malaya. So uh, we will be organize one big expo, uh, maybe 700 uh, entrepreneurs from Malaysia will come and uh, do the partnership with the local Filipino in, in Philippines to do this halal expo. We join, join together. That means it's not only Malaysia, that means our, uh, what's called our marketing is in this ASEAN region the ASEAN Southeast uh, nations and also Europe yeah that we call hub halal hub halal hub hub this mean center of the halal make it from where so that mean if we do this all filipino all philippines and ASEAN member states will come to the philippines to join in our expo but the important must be all the product is halal uh, halal like uh, like a crispy, you know, the cakes all made from the halal. Uh, we will be selling that, and then from there, our Malaysian entrepreneur will collaborate together with the main distributor in Philippines, which is a local Filipino, to be our partner in the Halal Expo. Halal Hub, that means that is big potential for the Filipino. Because they will increase the economy of the Filipino, such as if Filipino nowadays they are, they, are, they open the restaurants non halal, but after this they can make it halal. If they make it halal, all the tourists, especially Muslim tourists from the from the from the foreign country, like Malaysia, Indonesia, Singapore, Brunei, or from the Europe or from the Arabs, come and they will eat there. So that means if we have minima or we have like uh, not many restaurants in Philippines, halal restaurant halal in Philippines, that means this is not easy for the tourists Malaysia to come to the Philippines to find a halal food. But soon, if we open the lot restaurant, this means local Filipino open the halal restaurant, they will increase tourists. That means it will also will increase your tourist tourist uh, industry in Philippines. Okay, and then also industry for the halal or for the food. That means the local 
from the lower uh, so lower pupil they will become the middle pupil because they have a halal restaurant maybe they can open first one second third or four, or maybe 10 restaurant or maybe the halal restaurant to be a franchise program in philippines uh, this means we under unit of muslim filipino we will support that Ambassador Manja very well known ambassador. I met him. He is very humble, polite, and simple, and easy to discuss with, with him. He's very support us. Like I think if we we ha we have ten thousand uh, percent, I think more than thousand percent, he support us for this uh, business to make sure that uh, our community will success. You know. And then also we hope, and yeah, we hope the authority of government authority in Philippines will support us like what Ambassador supports.